All right, guys. YouTube, hello. Welcome to the YouTube video. Leave a like, leave a comment. Twitch chat, say hello to YouTube. Um, goal in today's YouTube video, we are one day away from affording this stupid square. We're one day from affording to get rid of this stupid square. And we are going to get rid of this stupid square. All right. Uh, for 52,000. But we're not doing that today. We got to actually do one restock before then. And YouTube hasn't got to see in my new way running the store yet. With uh, how I run it with the stalkers now. Because I literally don't have to do anything after starting the day. Uh, we need two of each flower. Two pasta. Uh, flower. Perfect. Pasta. What pasta was it? That pasta. Uh, pasta. Do do. Perfect. Perfect. We're good on all that. Oh, no. That's an expensive buy. I don't need to overstock, but we will. If I overstock too much and somehow we don't have enough money, by the next day, we will take out a loan. Um, two cereal, honey. Cereal, honey. Bop, bop, bop. FF. I think it was the mediums. Let's just make sure. Yep, medium coffee. That. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. As long as it has something there, we're good. And fries. Okay, that's not that bad. That was not that bad. The coffee costs the most. We're still above 50k. We need 52k by the end of the day. That's all we need to buy the expansion. And then it's a reorganize, a reorganize, a reorganize. With that there. It wasn't bad, chat. That was not a bad spending day. It may have seemed like a lot, but you got to spend money to make money. And there's one thing I learned in owning a store business. It's overstock is important. It's all about the overstock. Um, for anyone watching just YouTube videos, this has took me and stream, I don't know how many hours of grinding to get this upgrade finally. Um, but we did finally get it. We're finally going to get it. I feel it. I feels it. Money, money, money. Four hours? That was just four hours today, though. We did a lot of YouTube streams slash Twitch streams, and we did a lot of Twitch streams. Of like two hours, three hours. We've been stuck on this for like four to five days now of grinding. Floor boxes. Well, we have the floor boxes, and yes, I could probably use them. But do I want to use them? No, that wasn't the point. The floor boxes. Yeah, I didn't even mean to buy them in the first place. So you're right. I should use them, but I'm not going to because I'm lazy. That. That. You know, money come and money go. Money cometh, and money taketh. That is how we live life. I, the prices are good prices. I'm, uh, I make over a dollar per item. I'm very happy with the amount of items I sell. Okay, we gotta check this out. We're good. Hopefully there's no meats we gotta buy. Okay, so far so good. Orange juice, zap, red soda. Orange juice, zap, red soda. Orange juice, zap, red soda. Uh, juice. Uh, zap. Soda red, doo doo. Okay, and let's get two bleaches, two regular bleaches, and two blue cleaners. Bleach cleaner. There we go. A little bit this year. We'll also give a tour of the store before the day starts, or as the day starts, whatever. So everyone can see the store basically to its full potential. It's a, very, it's a very beautiful sight. What's up, Poop? Uh, there. 20, 30 hours. I don't know about 20 to 30 hours in between these upgrades, but... It was a lot of hours. It was a lot of work in between, so please leave a like. Twitch chat, you guys better also leave a like when this video comes out. Yeah, bloop. We go a bloop. OJ by the stairs. OJ by the stairs. Oh, yeah, you're right. There was OJ by the stairs. See, that's a good argument that maybe I should have used my extra boss boxes. But in my defense, now we have extra orange juice for a different day. And that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with extra orange juice on the floor. Floor juice, best juice. Almost as good as man milk. That... That's a Jihee joke. Calm down. Uh, okay, so now we need two dishwasher tablets, two green cleaners, one new TV. Okay, we got this. Tablets. 
do do green green do do and then tp new not bad we're still above 50k but i think we're gonna fall below it we're gonna be just barely below it but we make like four to five k in sales a day so we should be completely okay to buy it still tomorrow without a loan luckily reorganizing also is going to be a hassle i don't think anyone is ready for how much this reorganization is about to take but it's gonna be a lot uh all right two sacks of potatoes two of each chips they're finally on the same thing two moussakas which we may have on the floor We don't have Musaka on the floor. All right, what did I need again? I already forgot. Musaka, chips, potatoes, Musaka chips, potato, Musaka chips, potato. Was it two bags of potatoes? Yeah. Potato, Musaka, chips. Doop 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 doop. There we go. I know it's not maxed out ten, but whatever. It's like two dollars shipping. I don't care. I don't care. I'm a squirrel. We're ready for organization. We just sit and watch while you work. I know it's really not that fair. I'm the one that has to do all the hard work and you guys just to sit back and enjoy it. I don't see how that's actually fair at all now that I'm thinking about it. Wanna what? Twitch chat, get to work. Chop chop, Twitch chat. I wanna see some work done. Oh, uh, look at Twitch chat showing YouTube YouTube viewers the new emotes. Very kind, very kind. Okay, just these chips. Then we just gotta check the alcohol section. We're a little bit below 50k. We're still easily gonna hit 52k though. Okay, yep, that's all good. Hopefully we're not too low on any of these. Okay, new vodka and wine. New vodka, wine. That's it. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, vodka. That is expensive. Expensive is the wine. Oof. Oof. All right, we're down to the 49k exactly. We only need 3k. We'll, we'll get 3k. I'm actually not even worried about it. Not even worried at all. Up. Grab that. Bob, I know everyone's screaming at me. Start your store. Start the store. I want to give you guys a good look at a full store, right? Here we go. All right, that's our stock room now, in case you haven't seen it. That's the stock room. We're going to open up our doors, turn on our lights. This is our candy and cake aisle at the moment. This is all about to change tomorrow, so I don't know why I'm showing this off. This is our breakfast aisle, if you will. Here's our toilet paper and cleaning supplies are over here. In here, we got pasta and sugars and bacon needs. Anything you ever needed if you want a full chicken here. This is our meat section and fish. That's our egg and dairy. That's our frozen boxes. These are our frozen aisle. Here are our sodas. All of them. Uh, we got some chips. And then here's our alcohol section, one of our most beloved sections. All almost fully stocked. And I would say that does look beautiful. I just hate how blurry it looks when you walk around the store now with all the labels. So what I like to do is sit up here and just watch and talk to chat. This is what YouTube videos usually don't see is this part of nothingness. You had new vodka on the ground. Did I have new vodka on the ground too? That's awkward. But it's going to be okay because it doesn't really matter. And that's the best part about this. You would see none of our customers complain about prices here at Squirrel Mart. We have the best sales. Yes, how you doing, sir? How you doing? We have the best sales. We haven't even talked about going out of business at all because we don't even need to worry about going out of business. Business is booming. No shade at all to some other marts. Wink, wink. Beer freezer only had two rows of orange. Well... That's because this fridge is split. It's one of our only split fridges. Believe it or not, it is one of our only split fridges. How you doing today, Harold? Harold's doing great. Oh wait, my bad. Harold. <laughs> Apologies, Harold. 
Harold's doing great. Terrell's doing great. Barold and Gerald. They're all doing great. Our stalkers, Earl, Burl, Hurl, and Turl. As far as I know, are doing great. I don't know where the other two went. Maybe they're taking a short to break. Who knows? Needs his own fridge for it. Maybe after the expansion, it can get its own fridge. But I don't know. It's been fine. I know now with stalkers, I should technically split a lot of shelves. I mean, probably max out product, honestly. I just really like everything having its individual shelves. I think it looks very nice. No, the prices are going up. All these other markets shutting down. My prices have been soaring up now. No competition. We're a monopoly. We run the business. Squirrel doesn't give his employees their legally earned breaks. They haven't earned nothing. These guys have not earned nothing. Welcome, customers. Welcome. Have a good day, sir. Have a good day. Register number two and three are open, sirs. Excuse me, sirs. Register two and three are open. Or just wait, you know. Take your time. He wanted that three whiskey. He was not going to line for it. 52k, here we come, we better. We're also almost level 80 now. That's how you can really tell the difference in between episodes, is the big level differences. I don't even know if they are big level differences anymore. They're probably not that big. Probably pretty small level differences. It takes forever to level up now, forever. You do be careful, he doesn't pay us enough and makes us drink four milk. That is not true, you guys choose to drink it. Chat Mart making that money, this is not Chat Mart, it is a Scrum Mart. How do you do prices? I hear everything between 50 cents and $1 over the market. I heard 8% is like the perfect point. 8% over. I just, I do like 30 cents above. So maybe I should raise my prices more. I do about 30 cents above. That guy looks like a serial killer. Well, that's really rude to talk about Squirrel Mart customers that way. And I don't appreciate it. If we can refrain from calling Squirrel Mart customers names, I would appreciate it, employees. More money, more problems. Wow, no one is fucking with Barreled. Barreled, what did you do, dude? What did Barreled do? Dude, we're gonna move all the shelves perpendicular with the door. So that's step number, well, step number one on our expansion is expand and move all the refrigerators against the wall, which they already are. And then make one row of, one long row of freezers and another row of freezers to fit behind that. Then all shelves perpendicular with the door front and back and we're actually gonna make aisles and then guess what the lights come down i know i know i said it the lights will come down and fixed i know it's what everyone's been waiting for dog lid think of that tier one song is i have the chat for dog please there's squirrel mark customers gotta be somewhat crazy no guys we are 1000 away from goal we want mega celebration when we hit 52k mega celebration time But some items at three dollars over market and no complaints, and some have twenty cents over and get complaints. Yes, that is true. It's all like the different. Like I said, I think eight percent is the safe spot. So if you've got a twenty dollar item, you could do eight percent over market value, which I've never actually fucked with and did. I probably could make way more money. And now you're kind of convincing me to. Lights been driving me ape shit. The lights will finally get probably fixed. Maybe we'll see. Popular items you can go. I, I don't think it's like the items are popular. It's more like it's RNG and they just take whatever. I think. And then what you feel is popular may be like kegs, but they're bigger items. So that's what you mean by popular. It's just bigger than that. But it, I don't think it's like price shit. I could be wrong, but it doesn't feel like it plays that way. Serial killer twins? Dude, they look smart. They look like some smart twins. Yo, Gorthin and Mr. Dougie, thank you for the follows, guys. Appreciate those. Oh shit, we're about to hit the big bucks. $50 away. Who's gonna get it? Barrel to Gerald. Oh, Gerald's our star fucking cashier. He's gonna get it first. Oh, he's gonna get it first. Come on, Gerald. Start scanning, buddy. Get us to our milestone, Gerald. Yes! Take that. There we go. We can buy the expansion. Yeah, we're gonna. We have enough to expand right now. So we can go in here. Here, here. Growth fifty two thousand dollars gone, poof. Cause we it's not even nine p.m. We're gonna get like another thousand. Look at this 
store. We got a square store finally. I see the flower is too expensive. Go uh, check on this flower here. Oh, yeah, that can come down to six dollars here. Sorry about that, sir. There we go. Now we got a corner of death instead of a stupid corner. I'm so happy that is finally done. It took it. Don't call me broke boy now, Twitch chat. All right, that's not fair. You have a big mart now, but still no Carter basket. The bags are magical. Looks so dark now. Well, we can't fix that. Um, well, we can. We will. I think these fridges are all fine. I know people really want the eggs fixed. I think those fridges are all fine. We just got to move these fridges up against this wall. Move those chips away and move these... See, now the question is, do we... No, the fridge... Okay, wherever the alcohol is on the shelves, on the opposite side of the fridges is going to be the alcohol. A row of alcohol. That's usually how it is in supermarkets, I think. So, like, even these will kind of go away. And like this. This is all going to be perpendicular. And we'll start from this side because their freezers are already done. Which means coolers can even go over here. And registers can kind of go on each side now. Ah. Oh. We're going to have room. I think we're going to have room to play with to get a lot of new products. Now, the new product upgrades are like $12,000 to $20,000 upgrades now. So, they're super expensive just to get some new product in also. You're only temporary, bro. Got to spend it to make it. You know it. This is a big upgrade for Squirrel Mart. This is a really big step in the right direction for Squirrel Mart. And then we can start the day while the stalkers are stalking. We're not going to even open up the store. We're just reorganizing. It looks smoky in the store. It does look a little smoky back there. I hope no one's smoking cigarettes back in that corner. Gerald, was that you? Imagine your store can catch on fire. I would cry. If right after the upgrade, it caught on fire and I lost all my product. Oh, I would cry. Are you paying them? $80 a day. We don't need a loan. We have enough money. We have even enough money to restock, I would argue. We're probably going to get up to 2.5k, maybe? 2.2? Somewhere around there. Now that we're going to have new product, we have enough empty shelves. And we got all those. We got these. And we do still got empty shelves to use. Not actually as much as I thought I did. I know they're very kind of sta uh, scattered, but we can put more shelving down right here. Fuck. Wait, no, different one. Damn. You like that? Yeah, use an inventory. Chat didn't even know that I could use inventory like this. Got some extra floor boxes laying around. I told you guys, so we'll use the extra ones when the time's right. The time is right. The floor eggs are fine. Thank you for shot. Oh, wow, we're barely making 2K, actually. No, we're going to make 2K. I wonder how much this last lady has. I hope it's a lot. That's 130, so that would push us into the 2Ks. Oh, yeah. Get me the 2200. Get me the 2200. I'm happy. I'm happy score all 2200. Oh, we're there. We need 103. Oh, we're there, boys. It was a good day at Squirrel Mart. You did miss the expansion, but it was recorded and forever embedded in time. And two salmons. Those are expensive little meals right there, ma'am. Thank you for doing business at the Squirrel Mart, ma'am. Have a beautiful day. All right, now we end the day. Six products sound expensive. Oh, nice. Negative $49,000 profit that day. Very good. Oh, nice. Vodka went up in price. That's huge. I love when things just go up in buy, uh, price. Eleven ninety nine. You can screw it. All right. All right. Who's ready to get to fucking work? We're actually going to leave the lights off because I think it's a little smoother on the eyes. All right. So first steps first is rotate. These here. There's another big upgrade that you guys are about to uh, love when I move them in a second here. Okay, that's not that bad. That's not that ugly of a corner. You guys ready for the love? We're finally moving the chickens, boys! We no longer have a stupid chicken there. Oh, it feels good to move the chicken. I know people have been waiting for that. So what's going to happen here, though, is 
But this can actually stay right there. We'll just go like this. Screw it. Perfect. Perfect. Wait. I messed that up. Still doesn't look that bad though. Um, here. Like I said, I think we're gonna have a lot of room for new product. This will just go like. Is it right? This is pretty nice, right? Are we liking it? Is this a good job? Now we start going perpendicular. And we'll start on the back side. Did we not even worry about where stuff goes? Did we just kind of go for it? Is this a big enough gap? Maybe a little bit less of a gap. Is that a good gap chat or no? So if this was like this and can this fit here? Probably not. No. Move these over here. This is where it's going to become a little bit of a mess. Keep order. I'm trying to keep the order. Do you guys like that? Pew. Pew. This way it's perpendicular with the door. Remember, fridges are going to be over here. Oop, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep the best order I can. Am I keeping order right now? I don't even know. Okay, now these got to get moved. Can you box them up with everything in them? Okay, nice. TP. TP, coffee. TP, coffee. Close to the freezer, we'll look at it and moving it. Remember what's in these boxes. TP, coffees, and teas. Please. TP, TP, coffee, teas, cereal. Just so we can have this aisle to ourselves here. All right, so now it would be this. Goes over here like so. No, wait. This goes over. Wait. Man, how was it, dude? I don't even fucking remember. The milk was with the breads, no? Realistically, this doesn't matter to worry about yet. These were all in the same row. Like the bread was in this row too. I remember the bread being in this row. More condiments. Let's see. Well, we're going to want it to be perfectly. Wait, do we want it to be perfectly against the walls? Probably not, right? Because we're probably going to put one right there. It's a pretty good distance, right? A gap in front of storage room. I don't think I'm going to put a gap in front of storage room. I think it would look weird. Cash register against the wall. Ah, I can't fit over there. Hmm. Hmm. No. Can I switch the light? I off. There we go. I didn't mean to switch them on. I don't like the lights on. It's too bright. 
Um, this is how we want the shelves now. I'm just trying to think, is there any bo There may be no point to putting any registers over here, to be honest with you guys. The only reason why I say that is, uh... Huh? Eh? What the fuck? Why? I guess it's not, or is it always like that? Maybe it was always like that. All right. I'm thinking maybe we leave this over here. So we can bring these aisles all the way down. Because we need to put this down here. I don't even need to care about the organization of my story because I don't stock the shelves. Like, I think this is better. It's going to be easier, I think, to move everything around once we just have the layout in our head, I think. I don't know if my assumption's right. Like, how's that? Because remember, there's going to be fridges here. You're not restocking, so it shouldn't really matter. It really shouldn't matter the organization, but we still want it to look good and visually. Do you guys think yes or no to put in the egg caps on or do we leave it like this? I think we leave it like this, right? And do you guys think this is a good size or wider? Are we feeling a little wider than that? We probably want to go to the opposite side of the door at least, right? I don't like that it's not perfectly centered. That's it's tight. But it works. Too wide. This is not where the products are going to go. You guys see the problem going not as wide? Or does it really not matter if it's linear with the door? No, Squirrel Mart should be just like a normal grocery store after this. Is this better? That's pretty good, right? Do you guys like? Yeah, this is pretty good, right? This is actually, honestly, a little bit too wide. Do you guys think this is too wide, too? Like, do you think I should just move everything over a little bit and make it a little tighter? Probably like that. Yeah, that's a better looking aisle, in my opinion. I'm also thinking of something, chat. You guys know how this is really close to that. We're going to make this tighter on this end. So we're actually going to move everything back a little bit. Because I think I'd rather have it be tighter on this end than the cash register end. Like, I'd rather have it tight here for the customers where I never go than the cash registers where I do. I think that was smart, right? Do we agree with this? Subwise is set all with so you know that they are all the same. That is not a bad idea. But a shelf wide would be too big, no, Tunes? Or you're saying, but a shelf, oh, a shelf in the middle. Like that, like just on this, okay. I think I see where you, wait, what? Okay, yeah, that works.
Move these over. Five head moments. Shut up, chat. I'm a genius. I don't want to hear from any of you guys. Best store owner in town. There we go. Okay, there's a lot of space in this corner, but whatever. Yeah, I think I like this better. That's not too wide. That's not too wide. And then we move this. But he said go... Was he talking about like this? Oops. See, I was... Because you can't place that like that. Unless he was talking about go like this. Wait, how the fuck did I lose space over here? What fuck? How am I closer to the cat? Did I put this one too long? Oh, I rem yeah, that one's one longer. I'm an idiot. I got it. I got there. I think I like that with. We're doing this with. The best width I've ever seen. Oh, maybe he meant use like a bo a box would be a good thing to use for measurement. Maybe he meant like this. Around the edge of that. That box is a little thick though. That box is a little bit thick. We don't need we don't need that much space. Fuck that box. Let me test something real quick. I'm testing a theory in my head, alright? Leave me alone. Okay, this needs to go a little bit more closer to that. A little bit not on the edge of it. Oh yeah, that it literally is like the size of this this box. I wish I could see it with that and then you can literally measure it like that look at that it's it's a one a card in box thick don't forget the count one a card in bo box thick never forget it and then we got all the room over here i hate that i'm mixing up all my products right now like it is driving me insane in my head i hope this doesn't lower the amount of room we have Oh, we still have the boxes outside with the TP and shit. We're actually probably gonna have to keep that alcohol against the wall. Ah! Count the floorboards? Yeah, but it's on half a floorboard. Um, blop. I can guess what an A card in looks like. I can predict an A card right now. Watch this you go. Fuck. Shut up. I can't believe I'm actually about to use the fucking box. That was actually pretty good. A little bit big. That was actually the box kind of. The box kind of just fucking came in clutch. I'm not going to lie. That was a good box. Good box move. Whoever thought of that? I don't know if that's what Toons is getting at. Or if I'm just a genius that thought of the box myself. But genius move. Good box. Dude, look how much space is over here. If we just moved all these bloop, and then pulled those all bloop, and then we would have bloop. You know what I mean? Look how much more space we have. We have so. Oh, wait, there's boxes in the cartons. That's right. I knew that. So let's say we have so much space. Oh, 
Oh, the store's looking good. The st oh, it's like a little dance floor over here now. Fridges must stay against the wall or I quit. The fridges will be against the wall. The fridges, I plan on all the fridges being on the wall and these here. Like uh, as a little frozen area, you know? You don't have to pull the shelves. You can place one lateral next to the ones already placed. So you want to put the end caps on the shelves. People are against the end caps here. We don't have a lot of end cap fans in chat. Box. Because this looks a little thick. Yeah, it's like right on the side. I mean, the box strat is huge. 532k worth of inventory. That's how much inventory I have. I wish you knew. I wish I could check how much inventory value I have. Loop. Perfect. Uh, bloop. Nice. If we get free those other shelves off the walls, I'm super happy. Go. I, that looked like a box big to me. I don't know about you guys, but that looked about one box thick. It's right on the line. Just a little wider. Fuck, why'd I move the box? I'm an idiot, dude. I don't know why I moved the box. Okay, a little bit. Kind of close. I think that's close. All right, so now we take this. Dude, look at all the wasted space I think we're about. Like, all this new... Well, we gotta also remember, we did get an expansion that gave us a lot of space, too. No, I don't want to change the price. Eggs are in the box. See, now the thing that sucks about this, this is a pretty wide aisle at the end. The aisle at the end is really, really wide. But I guess whatever, it doesn't really matter. It's a little weird. It's definitely a little weird. Alright, I like how it looks. Even... Well, we can't get more products. We don't have the money for it right now. But even if there were shelves here... I mean, this is really big. We couldn't do... Just the back wall. Uh, I was thinking of something, but no. Hmm.
move the freezers to this wall. This is too many freezers for this wall. So freezers to that wall won't fully work. I mean, we could freeze her up against that wall and this wall. And then technically get one more lane of shelves everywhere. But I kind of like this. Thank you for the red. Oh, but you had a good stream. I kind of... You could take two shells off the end near cashier and make one more row, maybe. And then what do you mean by that? No, nah, theft is still not a thing. Was mirroring the register a thing? Because you could do the checkout like TJ Maxx. You can mirror the check uh, things now. This is not wide enough for another aisle. wide enough for freezers but there's not enough space for freezers so what's the point point? and this isn't enough space for register but this is enough space for freezers freezers Freezer is close to the fridge. I mean, it would make it look uh, not as tight over here, but it doesn't change anything. I do agree they need to move a little closer to the fridge. I think we leave it as is, as is so we get more product. Which we're still very far from. I mean, now we got to try organizing it the best we can. Let's see what type of organization skills we get. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Yeah, much, much bigger over here. Freezer perpendicular to the wall. They open up like that. So they were like this. Do, do. Then you would have to leave a space. Do, 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 do. I don't get why. I think this is pretty good. The next product, I believe, are shelves. And it's not the end of the world, but shelves over there. What's the new product going to be? The way? We have a couple choices. Um, Since we have all this space, we could move them all into a better area a little bit I hate that they have to be off the wall I hate the bumps in the wall There, they got a little bit more space. I don't know. I would mirror them, but there's no point. Because they're up against the wall. I mean, I guess they don't need to be up against the wall anymore. Turn the registers, but cashiers against the wall. Yeah, but then I have to sell these and the other... Re the registers are 500 You guys aren't accounting for $500 a piece for the register. And you only sell for 50%. So I'll be losing $500 if I do that. And I really don't want to do that. Not to yet. All right. So now we could do the lights that everyone's been begging for. Everyone's been squirrel, fix your light, squirrel. Fix your light, squirrel. Just do 90 degrees. But then the belts are weird. Then the customer has to walk all the way to the opposite side to get to the belt. When you walk to a grocery store chat, do they make you go like... That would be weird. 
And even if it was open on the other side, you don't walk towards the exit, go like that. It's usually the belts start on the inside of the store. Bzz. That's how it goes, chat. All right, do you guys not know how stores are ran? I wish there was like a quick pickup button. We're gonna make this store beautiful. Can you have the cashiers against the window? Uh, those little bumps make them where they can't all be even. Look how much space we have though. I mean, we got another like five shelves and I don't know, fucking five, six fridges that we could put down. Like we got a lot of space. These are actually almost perfect. Game one out of 10. Uh, I mean, it's just a simulator game, but it's an alright simulator. I enjoy. Seven out of 10. Loop. Boop. Boop. If you like simulators, I think you'll enjoy it. If you don't like simulators, then a simulator game's not for you. But yeah, it's good for a simulator. So many lights. Yeah, I don't know if I needed this many lights. Maybe this is why my store was too bright. Also know that this will bring my electricity cost down if we do these a little bit better. And don't need this many. New pile of lights. Actually, let's make a pile in this corner. This way we don't need to run as far. How do you sell? F to sell. Okay. Out of curiosity, F to sell. Plus 20. Yeah, they cost 40 a piece. Did they cost 25? Because that's not that big of a loss. All right, best electrician in town. I know, right? How fast I took this fucking shits down. All right, so we start right here. Yep. <laughs> Shut up, chat. I'm realizing the angle, if I'm a little off angle, it's a little hard. This ain't easy. This ain't easy. This is not an easy thing to do. You guys are acting like this is a simple task. It's not a simple task. I feel like we may have used the more lights. Call me crazy. I feel like there's a chance we used the more lights. Yeah, they're the only lights in the game. Totally straight. I want to be lined up at the middle of every shelf. Middle, look up, place. Like what? Man. Shit is not easy. 
Like the game, like when you look up, you're not looking directly up. It's like whichever way you're facing, you're leaning. Test them. They work. They definitely work. Alright, you know how I said we were going to make light nice lights? I give up on the lights. This is a waste of fucking time. That's what this is. We're going to just put them down and then out. <laughs> then why does that look better than anything I've done so far? Why is this better than anything I've done so far? Okay, that one doesn't look great. Right above Gerald's head. Great. Perfect. Believe it or not, that is perfect. You go back a little bit further. Perfect. And then you go like this. Perfect. The best fucking electrician in town. Look him up a little bit. Perfect. Very nice work, squirrel. And perfect. That's not too bad. Oh, shit. It's looking kind of sick in here. All right, let's keep going. Now we go right over middle of this aisle, which happens to almost be right over his head. There we go. Perfect. Perfect equals good enough. No, perfect means perfect. 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 Wow. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. Sleep right above your head. Dare I say perfect? Dare I say perfect? Perfect. Perfect. I'm a grocery market owner. I never claimed to be an electrician. Perfect. It's a little sloppy because I just wanted to fit one more back here. Perfect. Couple more to go, boys. Middle of this aisle, right over his head, basically. Perfect. I wish they like could put lines off of them so I could actually get it perfect, but I can't. I have no. I mean, I probably could. But, I mean, you're talking about fucking. <laughs> I probably could get it perfect, but like you're talking about an hour worth of works of putting lights up. That's perfect. That's perfect if I've ever seen it. Perfect. 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 Wow. Hold this out. Two. Three. Four. We sold four lights. Five lights. Six lights. We had way too many lights in this store. Okay, not like the best... Wait. Perfect. There we go. It's not great, but it's not bad. Anyone that's saying it's bad is overreacting. Now we hit save. 
Okay, now we try to organize the best we can. So, I would think first all the alcohol should be on this side, which it looks like it is all but one. Which I would say that's fine. I would say the TP needs to move over there. What should switch with the TP? What belongs with alcohol? Maybe, uh... Yeah, maybe, maybe this. Maybe some cakes. For now, let's move the TP over here. Let's just get it somewhat organized. Like this. There we go. All right. So now we can make this the coffee, tea. Coffee, tea, what else? Like what could be, what could switch? Okay. There's another. Okay. So maybe I go, we're going to switch the toilet paper out with this one. There's coffee, tea. Here we go. I know the teas are all mixed matched. I know one cereal's over here, but then look, cereal. You know? Oh, wow. This is. All right. So now where's the milk? The floor milk needs to get moved to the cereal. So this needs to get moved over here for now. Okay, here comes the floor milk next to the cereal. Floor milk next to cereal. And then maybe the breads next to the milks. Okay, I'm not hating myself yet. Right? Chocolate with coffee, maybe? I kind of don't mind the cereal there. I see what you're saying, then. The, well, no. Because the tea needs to be there. Um. All right, let's do... Do we want cleaning products by themselves on the right side or in the middle of the store? You had to change the tea and cereal. It's bugging me. Well, the cereal may go here and the tea will move here. Now, the black teas will probably move over there. The coffees will move right here. But there's another coffee coming. That's kind of the problem. The next license adds another coffee, which then this cereal will have to be moved. That's where, like, organizing it perfectly doesn't make any sense. Realistically. Okay, let's go like this. So it's at least together. Okay. No cleaning products over there. There's this cleaner. That's almost all cleaner besides that. Let's take this cleaner. Like this. Keep this to cleaners. I'm very happy our store is finally perpendicular. Wait, hold up. I'm just trying to get categories done in my head right now, and you guys are trying to skip past the category section and go straight towards the finished product. 
is what you guys are trying to do right now. Kind of scared me. Thank you, Christy, for that tier one sub. Appreciate it, Christy. Cleaning products next to the oil has never failed me before. We could put the cleaning put the Tide Pods right next to the candy. That would arguably make sense. That sits right with me. I like that. But the candy right next to the, the Tide Pods. Wait, where's my other Tide Pods? They're right here. Like those two should technically switch. Okay, so that's like cleaning. Still cleaning. Wait. I could go TP, TP, but then... Switch to potatoes and bleach. Switch potatoes with this bleach. But now the potatoes go with toilet paper. Yeah, that kind of is, but whatever. Potatoes could be an end caps. It's a sort of like a bulk product item. We don't want to do end caps, though. We don't need to at all. This is kind of like bacon. Like, that all sits right with me. I know this one rice is over here. That one rice is over there. This is kind of pastas. Let's go. This sugar. Pasta. Pastas. Wait, let's just go like this. That leads with flour. Okay, well, we could go like this to get all the pastas and rice next to each other. Can very easily just go like this. Okay, that puts more sugar together. Sugar, sugar. It's weird that one flower, but whatever. At least it looks kind of right. Like, I feel like this aisle does not look that bad. Where the other cleaners are at the end of the aisle. Other cleaners are at the end of the aisle. Candy there. I like the candies in between the bleaches. I like the candy between the bleach and the Tide Pods. I don't think this is actually that badly organized, chat. I know there's fixes. Candy's in a good spot, right? I agree. I could not agree more that candy's in a good spot. Um. It, like, it could, like, that Pablo sugar should not be there. But then what would switch with the Pablo sugar? Like, the Pablo sugar can't fit here. I guess the Pablo sugar can get switched out with peanut butter. But then it's over here. That's just kind of weird. Like, it's not perfect at all. And the potatoes aren't quite with the potatoes. The mashed potatoes could go there. Why not but candy near cakes? Uh, cause cakes in, is with the snacks. I need the alcohols over there. 
And now mashed potatoes are together. Potatoes are all together, but now the honey's way over there, obviously. Now the honey's in a weird spot. If we move the honey with... See, what the problem is we have too much baking products. And not enough of every other fucking product. Yet, like, eventually we'll have the other coffee. Then this cereal will have to get moved, which we'll have to go move over here, which then we'll have to move the Pablo sugar to somewhere over here. I'm trying to... I don't think another one could fit here. I could end cap here and put the Pablo sugar and the flour right here. But, like, I don't hate how it is right now. Honey is fine there because people use it in tea. You're right. They do use it in tea. Like, I don't hate this. I, it's not perfect. Yeah, we're not going to do end caps, I don't think. It's not perfect. Like, the bleach isn't right next to the other bleach, but the ble like, it's like category wise is good. Because if our next thing for the next couple turns is buying products, look what's going to happen. If we organize, and let's just say 64000 in the next thing. Like, say we bought this license. Actually, this is all refrigerated shit, so this license is actually free. We have the room for it. We could easily do this license for only 12500 But, like, here, we got more cleaners, dishwasher, tablet, dish soap, and fat. Like, that's so much more cleaning shit that's going to go in. And we're going to have to make a whole cleaning aisle. I don't even stock the store, so I don't need to know how organized it is anymore like I did in the, back in the day. Now I gotta keep this room organized. So I actually think we leave it as is till we get more licenses because it's gonna fuck everything up. I mean, I only got nine more to go. Isn't that bad? If I, now let's see if we can even afford the restock. Red flower, elbow, spaghetti. Market bills first. Elbows, cake. I think it was regular cake. Let's see how much we can actually stock. Yeah, eventually we'll get some books in our store. I know, so exciting. Some books. I want the cat food and dog food. I'm actually excited to make that 12500 now because we could throw that product in so fast and easily. Like that new product just gets thrown against the wall, reorganized a little bit, moves some things over, and you're, we're good. It's already done. So that would be beautiful. Did I not buy red flower? Did I what flower did I buy? Did I just not buy flower? Okay. Peace out, Gary. Have a good night. Okay, here, here. Okay, so we need red flower, honey, tall bread. Flour. Uh bread. What? Bread. Honey. So, and then I know there's cereal there, but whatever. Uh, sometimes I have lag when stocking my shelves. It hasn't been happening as much recently. Honey. 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 Flower. Flour. Honey. I really shouldn't have tried maxing out this stuff because we probably have a decent amount of stuff to buy. So realistically, buying six honeys is not a good deal. Same with ketchup. Let's get crispy cheese, crispies, and then milk. I mean, ketchup, crispy. And then I do it again because I'm an idiot, but that's fine. On pick ice cream and strawberry ice cream. Strawberry. Not that one. That's the wrong one. Bond back. Not gonna buy yet. We got six hundred dollars left to stock with. Hopefully we can stock up. If we're short on one item for a day, it really doesn't matter. A lot of money if you didn't spend anything on storage at all. The way delivery is done in this game makes you don't need a storage at all. To be honest, not even restockers order and restock directly. Not even restock order and restock directly. You need you only need cashiers and that's it. Uh, you are so far off with that. 
it is way faster to have the restockers and totally worth it when you have all these items. Yeah, you could do it yourself if I want to spend an hour after every day stocking shelves. And the storage rooms are very cheap to upgrade. I mean, they're like $10,000 total upgrading. Your storage rooms stock? Yeah, my storage rooms stock just as good as my store. Yeah, it equals a faster start to your next day. Unless you stock while your day goes on, which I'm sure some people do, but that gets hectic. I love the stockers composed of waiting to stock. I think it's totally worth it. All right, we already have the bomb pack. We need one chicken, two veggies, chicken, veggie, crab. Is $144 a gift. We're probably going to run out of certain products today. And that's okay. We're just going to let it slide. We'll add 10 more items into our shop before we start the day. Once we spend all our money. So we know exactly what we should get. It takes one click to drop a box. Or it takes more to 12 clicks to unload the box. That is a time save. More bun pack. What is this? We got some crab. I knew the crab is going to be super expensive to buy. Okay, the front shelves are done. Like, we need old TP. This shelf's done. That's huge. Big bleach, old, old TP. TP. One, two, three, four. Nope. One, two, three. Let's just do three old TPs because fuck it. And then it was one, two, one. I think it was two new TPs. Yup. Then it was big bleach. Uh, one, two. And then it was shampoo. Okay, that's another 10 items that we're ready to get. Once we just make a little bit of money, I could easily take out a loan and just get it and pay off the loan and blah, blah, blah. But that's just a waste of money. We're back to being broke, boys. Now we're officially broke, boys, again. Need dishwasher tablets. This would be done after the dishwasher tablets. What else are we low on? We're out of mashed potatoes. It's fine. We'll, we'll, maybe we'll do it during the day. We'll see. Okay, let's open up the store. Let's start making a little bit of money. We're probably going to run out of some stock. Re... Design of the store, all squirrel customers. Yeah, we can check floor boxes while that happens. Orange juice. We're still good. 12 pack eggs. We're still good. New vodka. I'm sure we're good. This we could probably use. And this we could probably use now, I would imagine. No, we can't. That lasagna. That's not good. Can't use that. Last thing to check is the new vodka. And we don't need any more of those. Done. You guys, you guys look up to the floor boxes too much. You guys acted like I had hundreds of floor boxes. Let's sell these lights. Sell. 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 How much money do we need to buy this? 278 more dollars. So 300 something dollars. Now we just wait to make some sales. Yes, this stream has been eight hours. We did do... We'd only done four hours of this game. It has been a long stream, so if you're watching the YouTube videos, make sure to check out the Twitch streams. I would appreciate it. Super... I am a super broke boy right now. You are not wrong. But look how big this store looks right now. The store looks massive. At $12,500, we could get the next fridges instantly. Like, we could just get the fridges and blah, 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 and be good to go. We just need to get our money up a little bit to get there. You can see shoppers better now. Now I can really see if they're stealing anything. I love the perpendicular look. Like, it looks like so much roomier in here. Oh, I hope the shoppers are loving it. They can actually get around on the aisles. There's no walls that cut them off. And we have so much wall space still. So much. We don't have enough food to get more shelves in here, which that would mean that that means we really only have the fridge upgrade 
We can't really get more shelves to the next upgrade until we upgrade the thing. Yeah, maybe we can fit a shelf there, there, and we could probably end cap if we had to. Maybe we could fit some shelves over there after the fridge uh, buy. Maybe. If we can get two products off that expansion, I'm super happy with the redesign. Super, super happy. I'm just not super happy with my organization skills, but you can't tell. Like, I don't walk around the store. You guys have no clue how well organized the store is right now. From the start, it doesn't look that bad. You can see there's cleaning, there's baking, and alcohol. That's what you guys can see. You need to do a tour for the upgrade video? They all just saw it. They just saw it all get done. The store does look good now. The lights also, I think we can all agree, do look better. I know they, they ain't great. But they definitely look better. And yes, we're fucked up on some organization and stuff. And that may really make people mad. But with getting the new products and already being tight on space, it's going to be all weird how it's going to be laid out. Oh, yeah. Let me go buy the product. Purchase. Doop. We're stocking that. There's a couple things that I remember being zero. If I see them zero, I'll... You got more of? Forgot how fast we make money now. A thousand dollars ain't nothing to make. Used to take all day to make a thousand. It does suck that that expansion didn't make me any more money a day. It just got me ready to make more money a day. I know lasagna was one of the things that we needed. Go, go, Power Rangers. Ooh, one more shampoo, one more shampoo, one more shampoo, one more shampoo. Bada boom, bada bang. All right, so now what do we need? We need uh, two dishwasher tablets, three new TP. I actually don't know that's your dishwasher. I know we needed the dishwasher tablets, lasagna. I'm not going to get the TP yet. Oh, mashed potatoes. I know we needed. Mashed potatoes. I know we needed. I just don't want to buy anything that I don't know that we needed. I really don't know if we needed that either. Let's just buy two beers and two whiskeys and then be done. Two regular beer packs. Hopefully they didn't have it. So hopefully we don't have an extra. We do. We do. Wow. There goes all my money all day. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to have enough money to pay my bills tomorrow. We are a broke squirrel. This is what happens when you fall behind on product after one expansion. It's hard to make it in this squirrely eat squirrel world. All the local hotties do shop at the store. You pull them all in with great deals. I got that. One more boxes. It's not even 9 p.m. yet. If we can get to like $2,500, I'm super happy. If you can't get there, I'm kind of scared. Because the bills are expensive now. And this is a lot of restock that we're falling behind on that I see. Oh, we could have bought so many mashed potatoes. Whatever. I forgot that they were the small packets. Kind of happy I forgot. That over here. Whew, FPS drops in there. Not fun. And then we get to enjoy our story. It looks a little dark, maybe. But kind of like a nice dark. Like a peaceful dark. Like a like a gloom. A nice gloom, some would say. No, we're not going to get a loan. We don't need a loan, chat. Level 79, dance right. I've been putting in that work, man. I've been putting in that work. If you want to make the money, you got to put in the work, chat. All right? I've been putting in that work. Squirrel, you hate women? I do not hate women. The Jan, they would have followed Mess, they would have followed uh, Art Patty, they would have followed Ashley, they would have followed Bahalaka, thank you. Toby is thank you. Thank you for all the follows, chat. No, I don't think they can exit the cashiers properly. I guess technically they probably could if uh, I don't think pushing them forward would help. Let me actually see something real quick. Like, I still don't think they'll walk forward. Hopefully somebody tries them. 
Someone try on my boy Gerald. I don't think they'll walk forward still. I think they'll still turn around. We'll see. Oh, maybe I should try blocking people in with the cash register. Maybe they will. Because then we can put a cash register at the end of every aisle and fit more stuff against this wall, no? Or would it be weird to put cash registers at the end of every aisle? That's kind of weird, isn't it? You would think she should walk forward. It'd be weird if she walked backwards. Like the path thing, yeah, look where all the other ones are walking. They probably, she probably would walk forward. <gasps> what? So they did walk forward. Would it be weird about these at the end of every aisle? Probably. It would be weird. I guess they're just not gonna be able, not till we push the sword back another one, basically. Which is so many upgrades away, so we're not- they're, they're, they're gonna be walking the wrong way for a while. It is kind of nice watching them walk straight out the door. What I liked about the registers being up against this... ...is then we could put products against the windows. Like, that's another whole row of products are free. That's something we could do if we ever really want to get new product and make it work. It is something we could do if it ever comes down to it. Is put them out a little bit and products against the wall. Candy too expensive? It's on one thing's too expensive. I don't want him to lose his sale, so I'm scared to move him back. You're right. It's The window shouldn't be blocked. You are right. How about just a little bit off the wall? Say if it was like that. Please go to him. Fuck, there's no one else here. You guys think they would walk forward like this? He didn't do it. He walked around it, so I would probably guess no. You think they will? I think would that look good? Do you think pushing them off the wall that little bit would look? We'll do it because it do, it won't look bad. It's not too tight, and we can see if they do walk forward. If they do, it'd be really nice, honestly. Yeah, we could try for a day, even if it doesn't work. It's just whatever. They're just a little bit out of whack for a day. We'll see if they walk forward. I don't know. He did it. He walked through. So they can fit through. That's not the question. Now we just got to wait for the stalkers to stock. See, YouTube doesn't know this part either. I wait all night for the stalkers to be done stocking. Otherwise, uh, I get confused when buying the orders because they'll be holding a box. And like, let's say one of them stacking this pepper right now, it will show that there's zero, then I buy fucking 18, and then I have an extra box, and then I get pissed off. So that's why I wait for the day to be over. Cashiers of the wall look way better. Off the wall look way better. You guys think this looks way better? You guys like this? I could definitely fit another shelf in here too. Do, do, and make this a, like a, a one walkway. Or do you guys like it being an aisle better? Or would it be awful to go shelf shelf if we needed to? We may not be able to because of this corner. Can't quite tile. I could test it actually right now too. No, we could. It would look like that. People can still squeeze around. We could do that if it comes down to it. Like if we need one row just to be a lot longer than another. For like a certain group of products like cleaning or baking products. That is a move that we could do. Put the bread and potatoes against the wall? I, I could, but no. Not yet. 
We'll have to still reorganize the items a little bit when we get new products. But 12,500 really is not that far away. You could use fridges as end casts to put drinks in. It doesn't. I guess I could. Not here. I could put a fridge here to put a drink in. Would fridges as end caps look good? Whoa. That actually... If I move the registers back against the wall, I feel like that doesn't look that bad. They kind of fit perfectly as an end cap. Which then kind of works out. It kind of works out with the beer. Like we can easily do a beer end cap then. You know what I mean? Do you guys like that? Should we keep the end cap here or no? Just move it back for now. Because if we do move the registers back, like if this doesn't work and we want to move the registers back, we could end cap this. We'll keep it for now, but we may move it to this side where the vodka is and shit. And then technically we can, un we can cap. I feel like sodas would be a good thing to cap on each one. If we really want to do so sodas are all at the ends. Realistically, no, we couldn't do caps on this side, though. Unless, do you think all the caps should be on this side? And we push all the shelves back downwards and cap off this side. I don't know, that's just a thought. That's definitely more product room if we need to. Capping off the back probably would look way better. Like, keeping it over there probably does look way better. You're right. That is kind of the better choice. I agree. I agree. If we ever get something that we could put right here, technically we could. If they gave us half shelves, it would be great because then half shelves could be the end caps. It would actually be perfect. For anyone wondering why we're not in it today, they're still stocking. I know people are really curious and probably mad about it. It's just how I like to run my store. I'm sorry. It doesn't look like that we're that low on too much of this stock either. Hopefully, we're still good on meats. Yeah, they're the most expensive of the restock. We're still... Yeah, this is actually... This is not going to be that bad of a restock day either. And we're at $3,000, so we're fine. Realistically, it doesn't work because the sockets are on the walls. I'm sure... I'm actually a 1,000% sure that you can put sockets on the floor if the store thought ahead on time when they were pouring the foundation. They could easily put wires in the ground. If the store actually just thought ahead and with a one in four you just rip this up and put the wires underneath probably cork some wood that's another thing you can run the wires behind the shelves but the shelves don't lead to a wall new simulator challenge start the day with nothing on your shelf and open no that sounds awful look how beautiful squirrel mart is Everyone in the YouTube comments, if you are still watching this point to prove that you're still watching the Twitch chat, don't cheat. Give me a rating. Give me a Squirrel Mart rating out of 10. Definitely Squirrel Mart, not Chat Mart. My Earl's done. Earl's, hurry up, Earl's. Cap sodas at the front. I mean, I could cap sodas here. Yeah, the thing is, there's so many different fucking sodas. If I was to do... Well, we have a water cap at the front. You guys down for a water cap? Are you guys down for a water cap? We gotta save some more fridge space if we do that, or no? Just get rid of it. Free water? It's not free water. But it gets people in the door, you know? You see that delicious water right there, and you're like... <laughs> I actually don't think it looks bad. I think I'm going to keep it there. I think it's a little bit weird where it's at, but I like how it's going to give me even more space. Because once we buy this product, this wall is about to get filled with uh, fridges. Probably most of this is about to get filled with fridges. Okay, the Earls are done. There's one Earl working. Okay, last Earl's done. 
There you go. 55 customers. Profited that much money. Oh, everything went up. Pay attention, chat. Large sushi, apple juice. Large sushi. Everything went up. That's so big for business. Business is fucking booming. $10 for sushi? I already forgot. Was it lasagna? What the fuck was it? Completely forget. I know spaghetti was there. Seven. Sixty. Chip. Oh, apple juice. That's what I was trying to remember. Apple juice and then chips. Okay, apple juice is still a good price. Apple juice, chips. Uh, where are my chips here? Ooh, six. Ninety-nine. There you go. That was big. That was a big up day. Big, big up day. It doesn't have to steadily be as long as we get more shelves and fridges in for more stock for more income. It's fine. Yeah, that's true. I like it looking pretty though. Uh, we need elbows, shortbread, milk pack. Elbow, shortbread, milk pack. Elbow, bread, milk. That's a really cheap first row. Let's pay our bills so we know exactly how much we have. 2600 That's a really cheap first row. That's really all we were out. It's a really cheap first row. Nice. Okay, susu, brown sugar, and two chickens. Susu, brown sugar, two chickens. Uh, sugar. Susu, brown sugar. Chicken. Uh, ice cream and nitro pizza. Uh, ice cream, the first ice cream. Uh, pizza, the first pizza. Damn, all right. Front shells are already done and paid for. That's good. That is good. We're trying to get the 12.5K so we can buy the new product. Would be a beautiful little goal in my head. Well, let's also, after we place this, let's save the game just in case. Just in case something crazy happens. Bread. And brown sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Bam. As long as this room's organized, this is what I need to be organized to. Is this room. As organized as possible. Uh, more sugar, more problems. You guys are clocking in a little late for work there, Twitch chat. Some of you guys are clocking in a little late. We've only been live for eight hours now. You guys could have shown up any earlier, huh? This is why you guys don't have jobs. Sorry, I said that. I went there, chat. I went there. Um, I've been working through a whole shift right now, all right? I don't want to hear anyone taking breaks. I haven't taken one break this whole shift. You guys know that. All right, we need, uh, I think this is the aisle. We kind of needed some stuff. We need two apple juices. Black soda. Oh, that's not bad. Two apple juices, black soda. Two apple sodas, two new TP, two dishwasher tablets, one bleach. Two new TP. Dishwasher tablets. I don't remember which ones. Okay, I thought it was the new ones. And two cleaners. Dishwasher tablet. Shit. I'm gonna go the... Fuck, it was two black tip cleaners? I forget. Red tip cleaners. My memory did not serve me well there. I know there's still something I'm forgetting. I forget. I think it's TP. I don't know. Pretty sure there's something I forgot there. You're on lunch break. It's midnight. It's actually only 8 p.m. But it, it feels like midnight. We already ate some Chinese food today. Squirrel is stuffed. I got all my GMOs in today. Have you been staying hydrated? I'm on a Red Bull. Whoop, 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 whoop. Red Bull, Red Bull, Red Bull. Where? I don't think I ever got a soda. What did I forget? Big bleach. That's what I forgot. One big bleach. 
So I thought it was supposed to be a, a number nine. So we don't realistically even need the big bleach. We still got one left. Um, all right, let's go over here. One sack of potato, one big bleach. Six green cheese, one big bleach, one potato. Big bleach, I mean, big bleach. Potato. Cheese. We need six of these. Six of those bad boys. And then... We're good. We need a lot of those. And then two blue kegs. And then those other beers. Kegs. We'll relook at what color they are. Okay. All we got to do is buy uh, nine of those other beers. Well, we'll just max it out ten because they can go too high. So it really doesn't matter. Then we start the day. We try making some more money. Money, money, money. Me love money. Give me money. Drink water? Ew. Ew, water. I don't know what the water is. What are these facts about the water? Big bleach. Yeah, chat, that's right. I don't need list no more. List is the old me. The new me's got this shit under control. It's a white tip beer. Beer. Wait. Oh, you can go. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. You can go over, but only 10 at a time. I'm just going to buy 10. We're also going to open up. Put one of these down in case it's short. They start stocking it. Bam. All right. We can open up while we stock the rest of these. That's no problem. I'm actually going to toss these inside, too, because this is a little bit of a run. We're starting the day with $700. Not much, but bills are paid. We'll get above 5k. We're trying to get to 12,500 now for this last product. And then we got to go to $22,000 products. It's hopefully will then provide even a more profit. Nice. Uh, give me a hand card game, please. I need a hand card. I'm not this weak. I can carry more than one bottle of four beers. I think there's actually a decent amount in there. It is probably pretty heavy. I don't hear no sales being made, Gerald's. You, Errol's. I don't hear no beeping going on. Where are my sales, Errol's? No union, Twitch chat. Stay away from unions. Remember, there's a union fee. If you guys want a union... You better start subbing. We already learned this by other stream. Oops. Okay, bills are paid. Everything's stocked. Can we fit this peanut butter now? Nope. That wasn't peanut butter. Nope. And then we go into the squirrel perch. Light switch is nice and visible now. We go into our lovely squirrel perch. Thank you for the raid, pass out. Okay, I wasn't expecting that come back. Do you still playing? I'm still playing. I'm grinding my fucking ass off, all right? There's one thing squirrel does, it's work. Work all night and day, yay. And we work. Work all away. See if they're exiting properly? Oh, yeah. I forgot that was the test. Let's see if they exit properly from each one. I don't think so. I think they're going to walk around and just use the last one. Yeah, they're not. I don't know why they like going that way. That's definitely not the shorter path. Let's make that space. I just want to see if we make the space bigger. Like, where they maybe not able to walk past this. We're trying to get them to walk straight out. See, they're turning around even way back there. They just like walking backwards. Oh, wait. Okay, hold up. So, maybe this is blocking them now. After he's done with this sale. Let's put moving this back more, dude. Look at that. It's already pretty tight.
So let's see if they all use the door. This is still enough room. That's enough room right now. Let's say they use the door properly now. We got some people using it right. Some people using it wrong. The guy in the te back is like the real test. If he walks forward to grab his bag, we're happy. Walk forward, sir. Why? Why? What? What was that pathing? What was that? I guess it's faster to go like this than for the robot to go like this. I guess that's kind of what it is. Do we like the register's offer on the wall? Everyone goes forward besides that last row. Oh, she's going forward. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, she's going forward. That is what we're talking about. We like people that go forward. Hey, they're not the most centered, but I don't even want to mess with them. And look, you got plenty of room here still. Now, the problem is, look how the lines are forming. They're lined up perfectly with that, so they don't go down the aisles. Which is actually not good news. But this makes it feel a little roomier. I think they'll line up three deep if they need to. Like, I think they'll go into the shelving, but I could be wrong. Sweet sound of beeps. We love money. Move us to the lines up with the aisles, but then... We could either move him back to do that. I don't know if it matters. Let me just see real quick. I don't know if it matters. I haven't seen one get in a line that long. I didn't think about that. Say we did do that. Could two registers fit like this? We would have to get the reversals. Would that be bad or good? Think about how much longer we can make these aisles. Or we do it over there and make those aisles longer. Yeah, we do it over here. We do it by the front door. Right? We do it by the front door and we get mirrored ones. You guys are thinking this is the best way to do it, like this. Oh. We just get the mirrored ones. I think we like this. I think we like We just buy the mirrored registers and we do this. Thoughts? And then does that give us more room or less room? I really don't know. It actually doesn't let the shelves anywhere go farther. But whatever, the shelves couldn't go further now. I am recording a bit. Assault, thank you for that tier one for three months, Assault. Appreciate that. Thank you for that Twitch Prime. Actually, there was just a tier one. Look at that guinea wiggle on your screen. It's beautiful. So many customers. So many customers that I need to move registers. I think you only need three registers. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, we would want to leave the gap in the middle, huh? We would want a gap in the middle. So, like, should we keep these registers up against this wall and that and then leave a gap in the middle here? Then technically, we could do sodas in the middle. Do, 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 do. Back to back. So both... <gasps> Hold up. I have a thought. I have a thought in my head that I want to try. No, if we put sodas in the middle, the lines will get blocked this way. But does it really matter? C 
See, we do three registers like this. Wait. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm, I'm kind of thinking it looks better the other way because the lines are gonna go into each other Like if I put his back to that the lines will go into each other No, the lines would be reversed. So their lines will be coming this way It, it shouldn't technically add any space It's technically the same amount of space being used have them both facing outwards. Are they even going to that second register? Uh, there's not that many people here right now. It's the end of the day. Originally, Chad, this is what I was thinking. Is he going to be stuck in my store? Hold up. I think he may get stuck. I want to see this. <laughs> Hold up. His only way out should be over here. Hold up. There you go. There you go. He should be stuck in my store forever. I think we just got ourselves a new a new worker, chat. I think we may have just got ourselves a new worker. Welcome, Jimmy, to the force. All right. I'm getting fast shamed by the game, but he's not. It's whatever. So this is ugly. We don't like this, is what we're hearing. And then we wouldn't like this. We wouldn't like this. Old way or new way? New old way. I feel like more people are saying old way. So I can't line it up with that. I'm technically line it up with this. Okay, that's lined up with an aisle. That's lined up with an aisle. See, but now is the last one even going to be able to fit? This poor guy's got to stare at a wall. Is this how they were? Now we can't fit fridges here, though. That's if I wanted to line it up with the aisles. Maybe I just keep it with the door. I think I liked it lined up with the door the best. I think I liked it lined up with the door, so he actually has room over here. This way he has room and we can put fridges, I think. Yeah, maybe we can't put fridges, but he definitely has room. I mean, we definitely could put fridges. Yeah, I think I like it this way the best. I think this is the best way. Closer to the wall. We want the people to be able to walk through here. Do sodas at the end of register on the wall. Like right here. But then people are going to be walking in the line. I don't like that. I see what you're saying. I don't like it. We don't need to. I mean, there's still space. And we have space over here. Like, we could make that the soda corner if we wanted to. There's a lot of things we could still do. No other wall but this wall. 
the sodas will probably get moved down. A lot of the new stuff we're getting is cheese. So I think cheese may get put over there, and then all that's going to have to get moved down, honestly. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. You can expand your bill, then the next expansion is $64,000. Sixty-four thousand, chat. It ain't a cheap buy. Now we just wait for the earls to be done. Come on, earls, hurry up. We got work to do here, earls. Yeah, then it won't be square. Also, yep. Only a couple thousand more. Yeah. No merch. Yo, uh, Strand, thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Fierce, thank you for the follow. Cyclide, thank you for the follow. Snappy, thank you for the follow. Appreciate those guys. If you're not following, be sure to hit the follow button. If you're not tier one sub, make sure to tier one sub, I guess, to prime. It is nice having that other window there now, but it looks a little empty against that wall. We need some more fridge items. Yeti with that get this sub right there. Thank you, Yeti. Appreciate it. Back to back could work. I was thinking that, but then they're... Wait. It's closed right now. Mirrored back to back. That's not a bad idea. Mirrored back to back may be the move. That may be the fix we needed. We put him mirrored, so he's in this aisle. He'll be in that aisle at the same year. That may be the move. Back to back. That's how it is in real grocery stores. Right? No. Some? Finally, you read. Don't finally you read me. No, Apple juice. We're not even going to lower them. Fuck them. You think I care about lowering my prices? No, I don't. Let's just see how this looks. Just in case we don't want to do it. Back to back. May have been the best idea ever. May just be the best idea Twitch chat has ever had. Okay, these are a little bit too far forward. Back to back? Do we like back to back, boys? I mean, I can't run across them now, but this is pretty good. That's nice. That is a store update episode right there. That is a good place to end the store update right when the Earls are done. Oh, wait. wait let's get rid of this. And we got all our cashiers out there. Now, Squirrel Mart has really advanced this episode. Make sure to leave a like and a comment. I would appreciate it. Thank you to all Squirrel Mart. Enjoy his next episode. New product.